Uh, on uh, an annual basis, I make a report on the noise ordinances over the last year, and we do do it on a calendar year instead of on a physical because crime statistics are kept by the Idaho State Police by a calendar statistical year. In the request uh, from our citizens, uh, they ask specific questions. The first one is how many noise ordinances have been issued over the last year? How many resulted in citations from those calls? And what was the outcome of those citations? I have a quick uh, slide here of last year, 2014, we saw 577 noise complaints. Of those, five citations were issued. Those fines ranged from 255 to 455. Of those five citations, two were found guilty or pleaded guilty, and two were dismissed, and one is currently pending at this point. All of them were written on the state statute in Title 18 under Disturbing the Peace, but there are uh, three other alternatives uh, at, left at the discretion of uh, the officers, but all of them chose to write under the title misdemeanors under uh, Idaho Code. If you recall back in 2008, uh, the City Council decided to make a change to our ordinance, and in that I have the statistics from the previous two years before that and then as they go on. Before 2008, it was required to issue a warning to the violator prior to being a, issued a citation. And on top of that, we had to wait a total of 40, 48 hours within that time period to issue a citation. Anything outside 40, 48 hours required additional warning and another new time period. <clears throat> the council determined that under the uh, resolution that it wished to allow a police officer to issue a citation where the officer personally observed the violation and has reasonable grounds to believe that the person committed the offense and also it is believed that allowing police officers discretion to is issue a citation for violation of the noise ordinance without a warning will lead to the perseverance of peace and quiet within the city. As you can see, the calls have slowly gone down from 2008 to 2014, and you can see that there is a 40% decrease in noise ordinance calls that we respond to. So I think within the intent of the resolution and the council's uh, uh, willingness to change that where an officer can write the citation without having a citizen sign it, we have reached that resolution at this point. And I'm open to any questions that you have at this time. Chief Duke, it appears to all of us up here, anyway, me, that it is working very, very well since we employed that uh, noise ordinance in 2008, and uh, which gives our officers other things that they can do uh, rather than track somebody down in a noisy house full of <coughs> folks that are having a great time. Yes, sir. Walter? Uh, Chief, do you see a plateau in this? Do you believe we have yet reached the lowest number that a college town can expect to receive in a year or do you have any way to, to guess? I would say we're pr probably going to be in the five to four hundred range out uh, calls per year at this point. I don't see it going down any further than this but things might change but at this point uh, on average we were between a thousand and nine hundred before 2008 and I'm pretty sure we're about where we're going to be at for the remainder at least where I can see unless something changes. Thank you. Dan? Uh, why the 20 call drop off you think over the last year as far as the citations? What happens is the officers are able to uh, provide education to the violator at that point and they are told at that point that if they don't turn it down they'll be in a, issued a citation immediately upon uh, coming back are within a time period usually within two or three weeks instead of the 48 hours so I believe that has had a significant impact on the on the uh, ones that are actually violating the ordinance and uh, have decided to continue on in that uh, type of behavior Other questions for the chief thank you very much thank chief you. thank chief. you for your report uh,